Welcome to Monday's Monarch. My name is Joe Inslee, and today we get to go back in time to 767 BC and look at King Amaziah. King Amaziah is an interesting story in the Old Testament. He becomes king when he's 25 years old when his father is assassinated. Now a lot of times we just read right through that and keep on going, but I just want you to think for a minute. It's a pretty intense thing for a 25 year old to have his father assassinated and then become the king. And he's the king of Judah, not the king of Israel. This time Judah and Israel are separated. He's the king of Judah. But to be 25, have your father killed, and then you become king, is a lot of pressure. King Amaziah did some good things right off the bat. First of all, he went countercultural to his day. He killed the assassins that had killed his father. He punished them for their crimes with capital punishment, but he did not kill their families. Now there's a verse in the Old Testament that talks about children not paying for the father's sins, fathers not paying for their children's sin. It's an old Mosaic commandment. But most people didn't care about this commandment. And a lot of times, in this day and age, when a king came to power and he was acting out revenge or vengeance on someone that had committed a crime, he killed the person that committed the crime and everybody associated with him, friends and family. So for Amaziah to be dealing with his own grief and hurt and then to step into this role and make an incredibly mature decision not to kill the assassin's family was a cool thing. Throughout his life, Amaziah did what was characterized by God as doing right in the sight of the Lord. Amaziah did a better job than a lot of kings by getting the seal of God saying, you were doing right by me. That'll do, Piggy. That'll do. The problem with Amaziah, though, is he didn't lead his people to do what was right either. So you'll see that in the story of Amaziah, although he did what was right in the sight of the Lord, many of the people in his kingdom completely disobeyed God. So an interesting application is it's not enough to do things yourself before the Lord. You have to lead others to do good things with you. Fairly early on in Amaziah's reign, he decided to go take a run in at people that were mean, vicious, cruel, and awful towards the Jews. These were called the Edomites, and Amaziah waged war against the Edomites, and it said that he killed 10,000 of them just by straight battle sorting them, but then he killed 10,000 more by figuring out a way to drive them off of a cliff. So pretty violent, but the Edomites were kind of asking for it. So the Edomites, if you don't know, they're the descendants of Esau. Yeah, remember the hairy redheaded kid who was the brother of Jacob and tricked around for a pot of soup and a father's inheritance? Yeah, so it's like his great, 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 great grandkids that are causing major problems for all Israelites everywhere. And Amaziah finally took care of them. But then Amaziah, he's young and he gets cocky and he gets into a spitting match with the king of Israel. He's the king of Judah. And then there's this guy named King Jehoash and he's the king of Israel. And so Amaziah starts flexing on this guy and Jehoash, who's the grandson of next Monday's monarch, says, Look, dude, I've got a parable for you, and it's about you being a little thistle and a big animal coming through the woods and stepping on the thistle. So check yourself. But then the Bible tells us that Amaziah wouldn't listen. So Mr. Cocky goes off to go have a fight with King Joash, and he loses, and nobody wins because God's temple is plundered and all sorts of bad things happen. But then Amaziah actually outlives the captor king because Jehoash, like, chains him up and everything. Amaziah actually outlives him just in time to see what happened to his father, roll back on him, and there's an assassination attempt. So Amaziah flees to a safe city, only it's not a safe city, because they find him and they kill him. So Amaziah, he comes to reign through assassination and he dies by assassination. But overall we can say, Amaziah, good job, buddy. You did right in the sight of the Lord. You made some mistakes, but who doesn't? 